Yes guys, directed by Dave Reese here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn this footage. Into footage like this. So first of all, we're going to come over to Premiere Pro and as you can see, we have a music video here by Local Lemonade, directed by Cole Bennett and we're basically going to turn this footage into a cool multi-camera kind of effect. So how we're going to do that is pretty simple. So guys, on my website I have a split screen effect pack which has all different types of kind of screens in them that you can use for your music videos etc. So guys, I also have a free editing pack on my website and it does include some split screen or multi-camera effects. So if you don't want to pay for it, you can pick up the free one and try it out before you buy it. So split screen number 19 we're going to go with and we're going to drag that onto our timeline like so. So the split screen effects are all in 4K. So this music video is shot in 1080. So we're just going to resize that to 50 to match. So on our first clip here, we want to resize this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to effects controls and position and scale and then we're just going to resize this like so. I'm going to scale him down a little bit so he fits nicely in the corner. So guys I highly recommend you use the this effect on tripod shots because I think it looks really good. We're going to come over to effects and we're going to type in crop and we're going to drag crop on and then come back up to effects. As you can see it's spilling over on the right hand side so we're just going to come to right and then we're going to crop it in and match it on the line like so. Then we're going to hold option and drag this up. Then we're going to resize this and we're going to put it in a different place. So we're going to put this one down the bottom. So there we go. And then press option again and drag it up. So we're creating three and then drag this one up. And then as you can see it's spilling over the bottom here. So we're going to come to the bottom and drag it up. So there we should have which looks really cool. We go over to the second clip again, come over to effects and type in crop on this one. Go to effects controls and then just resize this. So I think that looks pretty good. And then as you can see, it's spilling over on the right hand side. So we're just gonna press the right and we're gonna hold option, drag up again. And then we're gonna move it across like so. And then we're gonna scale this down, bring this over and you can see again spilling over the bottom so we're going to grab the crop tool, hold option on the clip, so it copies and then drag this down and maybe this time we could even come over to effects and type in flip and horizontal flip so it kind of flips the clip around, just something a bit different. And then we bring this over this side, as you can see spilling over on the top. So I'm going to come to the top and then drag that down. That's just a cool effect. On this clip we're going to create something a little bit different with a different effect. So I'm going to size our clip so its face is in the shot like so. Come over to effects again and type in crop. Make sure we drag that crop on, again spinning over on the right, so we're going to crop that on the right, hold option to copy, and then drag this across, and this time we're going to drag this up and just have his mouth in this shot, and line him up, and then again spilling over on the left this time, crack that, then hold option to drag it up, and we're going to drag this one down, and we're just going to have his glasses in this one. And we're going to crop that to the left a bit. And slightly further over. And the glasses in this shot, which looks really cool. So what we can also do as well, guys, is we can come over to our project panel and just create an adjustment layer. 
like so. Make sure I match your timeline. I'm going to drag our adjustment layer over these clips. I'm going to come over to effects and I'm going to type in transform. I'm going to drag that on to our adjustment layer and come over to effects controls. I'm going to scroll down, hit scale and put a keyframe at the start and then come towards the end and then hit scale and we're going to increase the scale and then drag that towards the end and we should have a nice subtle zoom so guys that was how to create those multi-screen effects within premiere pro i hope you did enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one guys